Hi everyone, JJIR here, and in this video we're going to see how to connect a LEGO Spike Prime to a Raspberry Pi. I am presupposing you've seen the previous video that explains how to set up the Raspberry Pi, so if you haven't done that first, look at that, and then we'll come back to here. So presupposing that's set up and you've SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi, the next thing you need to do is make sure that absolutely everything is up to date. Do not try to connect the Spike Prime to the Raspberry Pi until everything is updated. So the first thing you're going to do is put this inside and click on enter to make sure that everything is updated. Now I've already done this, so this is already set to go, but you need to make sure you do this as the first step. Once you're done updating, you need to make sure you reboot the Raspberry Pi. So you need to do sudo reboot, then click on enter, have that reboot, and then go back in. Make sure you reboot before you do anything else. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add this here. You're going to update and install anything that has to do with Bluetooth, because otherwise you won't be able to connect that to the Spike Prime here. So these are the elements you're going to need. I'll put those in the description below. Just make sure that this is done again before you try to do the next steps. So presupposing we have everything that Bluetooth needs installed, after you're done with that, before you do a sudo reboot, we're going to do the following. You're going to go into this file here, click on enter, and we're going to add this dash C at the end of this line here, and then we're going to add the following line as well. So these two lines are absolutely crucial. If we don't have those two lines set up, then this is not going to work. So these two lines here have to be edited and added so that this will work. So you're going to do this before you do another reboot. So you're going to install the Bluetooth things, then you're going to go into this file here, and you're going to, again, add a dash C at the end of this line here, and then you're going to click on Enter, and then add this one here. If you don't know how to use Vim, I'll also add a link to the video I have on Vim below, but you need to make sure that this is done. Once that is ready to go, what we want to do is we want to click or type colon X, and then once that's saved, then that will be ready to go as well, and we can continue on with the next process. So after we're done installing the Bluetooth things and configuring that Bluetooth file that we mentioned before, you're gonna do another sudo reboot to make sure that everything has now been set up and configured. Very, very, very important to do this step as well. So this is the second sudo reboot we're doing after we've installed all the Bluetooth elements. Once that's done, we're going to come back here, and then we're going to start actually configuring Bluetooth so we can connect it to the Spike Prime. Okay, so once we've rebooted for the second time, having everything installed and configured in regards to that file I mentioned before, then what we're going to do is we're going to put sudo service Bluetooth start, and we're going to click on enter here. And what that's going to do is going to start up our Bluetooth service so we can start configuring it. Once that's done, we're going to type in sudo bluetooth ctl and we're going to click on enter so we can enter into that shell and then we're going to start adding a few things it makes no difference what it says above we're just going to go through them to make sure that everything is set to go so the first thing we want to do is put power on and then enter and then afterwards we're going to put parable on and then enter and then afterwards we're going to type discoverable on and then enter and then we're going to type agent on and then enter and finally, we're gonna put default agent, and then enter. Afterwards, we're going to type quit to leave this. Clear this up. Now that that's all done, we're going to turn on our Lego Spike Prime, and we're going to press the in the upper right-hand corner the Bluetooth button until it starts blinking. It's going to make some noise, which is fine, and now what we want to do is we want to put Bluetooth scan on so we can actually find that. So we're going to put that and then as soon as our Lego Spy Prime comes out on the screen, we're going to type control C to stop that scan and so we can grab our Bluetooth MAC address. So we're going to put Bluetooth scan on and then enter. So as you can see here below, our Lego Spy Prime came out and now that we have the MAC address for that Lego Spy Prime, we can do the next step. We're going to clear the screen first. Then we're going to type Bluetooth CTL pair and the MAC address we found and click on enter. Once that's done, we're going to type Bluetooth CTL trust and the MAC address and then once again, we're gonna type, click on enter. We're going to clear the screen again. And finally, we're going to type 
sudo rf com bind space zero space and again the MAC address. And this is the final step so we can actually start working with the Lego Spike Prime. So we just click on enter there and now that's ready to go. So now we have the uh, possibility of doing things with the Lego Spike Prime. Okay, so now that we have binded port zero, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to enter into the Lego Spike Prime just to directly program with it. So the first thing we need to do here is to type screen and then slash dev slash rf com zero. When we click on enter here, what's going to happen is that's going to actually enter into the Spike Prime. Now, the first time you do this, a lot of numbers are going to be popping out. That's not a problem. All you have to do is click on Control C, and what that will do is it will stop it pr presenting numbers to you. And that's precisely because it's showing you the sensor information. So as soon as you jump in, it's going to start presenting those numbers. You click on Control C, and now you're in a micro Python shell. So the first thing you want to do here is input import hub. And once that's done, now it's ready to listen to your commands because the import hub is telling it, okay, we want to do something with the Lego Spike Prime. So the next thing we want to do is to type in the following. So when we put in hub.display.show and then the text we want to show, we're going to click on enter here and that will actually start presenting letter by letter that information on the Lego Spike Prime. And we can also do things with motors and whatnot, and we'll do that in another video. But the idea here was just to show how we can access it. So once we're done with actually programming this directly, we can jump out of this screen by clicking on Control A and then typing colon Q-U-I-T. That will allow us to jump out of this. And now what we can do is we can actually use a Python script. I have one here, it's called test. And we can actually do that in the same manner. So if we go into vim.test here, you're going to see we have the import hub and then the hub display show. So if we jump out of that here, if we type in sudo ampi dash dash port and then dev rfc run test pi and we click on enter in that, that is also going to go through letter by letter in the Lego Spike Prime. So we have the two ways of doing it. We can actually program it directly or we can actually use a script and have it run this way with Ampi. Both ways are viable options to actually send information to the Lego Spike Prime so it does something by means of Bluetooth. So the advantage here is that you can have your Raspberry Pi connected to a battery and that can be put inside the robots you have with the Lego Spike Prime and that can be fully autonomous. So now that can run around and the Raspberry Pi will send information by Bluetooth to the Lego Spike Prime and with that you're all set to go. And you can even have Lego Spike Prime connected to the battery pack that you have there. So both of them can be, be receiving energy by the battery pack and it can move around and do whatever you need to do remotely from wherever you want to go. So that essentially is what we wanted to show you in this video was how to connect the Lego Spike Prime to the Raspberry Pi. If you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.